Hello everyone, children welcome once again today to the maths class. Today I will be teaching you the same simultaneous linear equation because in the last class I was explaining to you about the substitution method. Today I will be explaining to you how to solve the linear equation by the elimination method. Now let's start. So we are going to discuss about the elimination method. So in this elimination method, when we are having a pair of linear equations, suppose say x plus y is equal to 8 and x minus y is equal to 3, like this. Here, we are eliminating one of the variables. Suppose say y we are eliminating, then we are, we are getting a value of x here. So when you are having x plus x, we get here 2x. And here we get 8 plus 3, we get here 11. Therefore, x is equal to 11 by 2. And this value, we are substituting in any of these two, in any of these equations. So, this is the method I have just briefly explained to you. When we are having a pair of linear equation, we are eliminating either of these two variables. So we can uh, eliminate either x variable, find out the y variable and then substitute this value in the first equation or second equation. Or else we can eliminate the y variable, find out the value of the x variable and substitute in any of these equations and get the value of y. This is how the elimination method goes on. Now let me give you an example, work out an example for you that you will be able to know and able to solve the uh, simultaneous linear equation through the elimination method. Here we have got two equations where x plus y is equal to 5 is your first equation, 2x minus 3y is equal to 4 is your second equation. So in order for us to eliminate either of these variables, let us take y variable. Here we have got 3 and here also we must have 3 in order that the y variable can get eliminated. So what we can do here is multiply the whole of the first equation with 3. So, multiplying the first equation with 3, what do we get? 3 into x, we have got here 3x, plus sign as it is, 3 into y, we get here 3y is equal to 3 into 5, we get here 50. So, this is your new first equation. And write down the second equation as it is, so we get here 2x minus 3y is equal to 4. When we are having two different signs, only then we can eliminate. Since we already have two different signs here, we can eliminate it directly without changing the sign. So, 3 plus 2 will give us your 5x is equal to 19. Therefore, the value of x will be how much? 19 by 5. So, this is the value of your x variable. Now, substituting or substitute... The value of x in equation, you can take any of the equations. Let me take equation 1. So, when we are substituting the value of x in equation 1. So, equation 1 gives me what? x plus y is equal to 5 and x here is how much? 19 by 5 plus y is equal to 5. So, y is equal to 5 minus 19 by 5. 5. So, y is equal to, you bring it here, multiply, how much do you get? 25 minus 19 whole by 5. This will give me my 6 by 5. Therefore, the x value that we have got is 19 by 5 and the y value that we have got is 6 by 5. So, this is the way how we are using the elimination method. First of all, we are making the variable, any one of the variables same. The signs must be different for, in order for us to eliminate. If the signs are not different, then we are multiplying it either with the positive sign or the negative sign to have two opposite signs or symbol. Then we are coming down here. Whatever value we are getting in the x variable or suppose you have taken the y variable, the value we are putting it in equation 1. Here we have got two equation 1. So here what we should do is we should not take it to the transformed equation 1 but rather we should go to the original 
original equation 1. So when we are substituting the value of x 19 by 5 in equation 1, this equation 1 is about this, that is x plus y is equal to 5. But whereas when you put it here and when we are simplifying all the more, it will give us the same thing. But it would be easier if you put it into the first equation or the first previous original equation and then we are getting the value of x and we are getting the value of y. This is how we are doing or solving the value of x and y variable or x and y we are getting the value by the el elimination method. Let me do another example for you. We have got here another example which is like 3x minus 7 by 2 minus 2y minus 8 by 3 is equal to minus 1. And here we have got 5 minus x whole by 3 minus 3 minus 2y by 7 is equal to 1. The equations are in fraction forms. We have to bring it into linear ones. And for this, let me take the first equation. So taking for equation 1. So let us... Write the equation 1, 3x minus 7 by 2 minus of 2y minus 8 by 3 is equal to minus 1. Now cross multiplying it, what do we get? 3 into 3x minus 7 minus 2 into 2y minus 8 whole upon 2 3s are 6 is equal to minus 1. The next step we are going to multiply 6 with minus 1. Now multiplying 3 inside 3, 3 is a 9. So 9x minus 7, 3, 21. And here we get here minus 4y, 2, 2, 4y minus minus sign plus a 2 is a 16 is equal to minus 6. So here what do we get? We get here 9x minus 4y minus 5 is equal to minus 6. So 20, minus 21 plus 16 we get here minus 5. So 9x minus 4y is equal to minus 6 plus 5. So this will give us 9x minus 4y is equal to minus 1. So this is the linear equation or the linear form of the first equation 1. So same way shall we do the second equation. So I am not rubbing the first equation. Let me just solve the second equation here. So here what do we do? Now let's cross multiply it. So 7 into 5 minus x minus 3 into 3 minus 2y whole upon 7 3s are 21 is equal to 1 here. So multiplying this inside 35 minus 7x minus 9 plus 6y is equal to 21 1s are 21 minus 7x plus 6y, 35 minus 9 that we are having, plus 26 is equal to 21. So here what do we have? Let's simplify it. So minus 7x plus 6y is equal to 21 plus 26 becomes this side as minus 26. So what do we get here? Minus 7x plus 6y is equal to minus 5. So here we have got this as our second equation. Without wasting much time, I'm just writing the linear equations here and then let's start with the elimination method. So here we are having 9x minus 4y is equal to minus 1. The second equation is what? Minus 7x plus 6y is equal to how much? Minus 5. Like as we were doing, we have to make either of these uh, two variables same. So here, when we multiply 4 with 3, we, we get 12. And when we multiply 6 with 2, we get 12. So here, let's multiply the first equation with 3 and the second equation with 2. So 9 threes are 27x minus 12y is equal to minus 3. And 7 twos are 14 minus 14x and then you are getting here a plus 12y is equal to 2 5s are 10. So here when we can cancel this, eliminate this. So how much do you get here? We get here minus 13x 
is equal to minus 13. So x is equal to minus, so here we are getting here plus 13x. So x will be equal to how much? 13, 13 will get cancelled and we are getting x is equal to minus 1. Now the next step is what? Substitute x is equal to minus 1 in any of the equation. Let me take the first equation in equation 1. So 9x minus 4y is equal to minus 1. So 9 into minus 1 minus 4y is equal to minus 1. So 9 into minus 1 minus 9 minus 4y is equal to minus 1. So minus 4y is equal to minus 1 plus 9 minus 4y is equal to 8. So y is equal to minus and I am bringing it this side. 8 by 4 will get minus 2. Therefore the value of x is equal to minus 1 and the value of y is equal to minus 2. So this is how we are doing the elimination method to solve a linear equation and in your exercise 5.2 you have got the questions relative to this elimination method. So that's all for today's teaching children. In the next class I will be teaching you the cross multiplication method. Thank you.